after activating a translation service in WPML, you should send one page as a test translation. Doing this allows you to make sure the translation service receives all the text it needs to translate and that the final translation you got is complete. Texts on your pages may come from lots of different places like the page content, custom fields, taxonomies like tags and categories, hard-coded text from the team and plugins, widgets and more. Sending only one page makes it simple for you to quickly send more rounds until all the texts are covered. In our example, we will send a page built using the WordPress block editor. It's best to send a page that you really need to translate and use it for the test. Choose a short page, which uses the same editor as the rest of the pages. This means the same page builder, same plugins and so on. Edit the page and scroll down to the Multilingual Content Setup section. In this section, you can select translation options for the whole post type and its custom fields and taxonomies if it has them. Identify which fields contain text and make sure to set them to translate. In our example, we also have a taxonomy, so we set it to translate as well. Now, go to the WPML Translation Management page. Find the test page and send it to translation. You will most likely need to complete the sending by paying for this translation job on the Translation Services website. When the translation is complete, you can fetch it from the Translation Management dashboard. Once the translation is in your site, view it on the front end. Check and make sure all texts are translated. If there are texts that are not translated and you're not sure how to translate them, we invite you to open a support ticket and let our supporters help you.